Hi everybody. Welcome to my dining room, my formal dining room. You are here for hashtag Tea Tuesday. And I'm just having a little informal tea here. Um, I'll tell you about my teapot here, but what I'm having today for tea is Lusianne. It says it's iced tea mixture, and that's what I'm having today too, is brewed tea, and I made it into iced tea. So Lusianne is just, it's a very mild tea. It's like Lipton's tea, and I like Lipton's as well. And I got into Lusianne oh, just a few years ago. So I kind of switch off and on and do one or the other, just depending on which one I grab. They both taste pretty much the same. So, but that's what I'm having today. And let me tell you about my mug here. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it or not, but it is of the Townhouse Restaurant, which is downtown in my area. And they did up a little historic type of mug depicting a small town scene. And I like this quite well. So, especially the, the little restaurant front downtown, the red truck, and, and the, the sign up front here on the restaurant even says the townhouse restaurant. So, anyway. Mm. Yeah. And let me tell you about my teapot here. This teapot, it comes from a little tea room that William and I went to a few years ago. The tea room is owned by a British couple and they have all sorts of teapots and, and anything to do with tea, even British teas, um, British goods, British snacks, things like that in their store that you can buy. It's also, like I said, a tea room and they serve uh, tea lunches, um, high tea type of thing and British meals for lunch. So we did have lunch there one day. I've been there before a couple of times and it was my first time in taking William there. He was okay with it. I, I like it there. I do like it there a lot. Well, every time I go, I, I tend to go shopping a little bit too and buy a few things. This time I settled on a teapot. This teapot shows scenes of London. It's the same picture on both sides. I might have to do a close-up on it, but it shows London and the eye, you know, the big Ferris wheel that they built there for the year 2000 celebration. And it shows other um, British government buildings and the Tower of London Bridge and St. Paul's Church and Big Ben, that sort of thing, okay? It is, it's a very nice keepsake for me. This is, besides the teapot that goes with my, my china in the china hutch here, this is the only other big teapot that I have yet. I have other small ones that are like tea for one services. I have a couple of those, but this teapot and my china teapot are the two favorites that I've kept um, out of a collection of, oh my goodness, at least a good dozen or more. So, uh, but anyway, that's what I'm doing today for tea. Iced tea, brewed, and it's Louisiana. So, it's not a very busy day today. It's very quiet, actually. Um, we're kind of hanging out indoors because it is quite hot and very humid down here. But I understand that up north it's really um, I want to say almost like record-breaking heat records up there. Very hot temperatures compared to even down here in Florida. I mean, we're like around 90 degrees, but the humidity makes it feel much, much worse. <laughs> and they are having temperatures up north of like in the close to 100, if not a little over 100, and humidity besides. So I can imagine how miserable it is up there for them. And for those of you that I do know up in the, the northeastern areas that are having this record type heat, I hope you're staying cool and calm and relaxed. You know, um, wow, stay out of the hot sun for sure if you can. Okay, and stay hydrated, of course. <laughs> but anyway, now before I forget, I need to give a thank you. 
I have been remiss in doing this, and uh, you know, I'm, I've, I'm, I'm sorry. I should have done this much, much sooner. But a thank you, a big thank you, goes out to Nona Grace and her husband Jim on their channel, Nona Grace. It was well, at least a month ago that I won a $25 gift certificate uh, through Amazon from them because I won a little contest that they did. It was just a, a spur of the moment contest, no big announcement. It was like answer a question about something that happened in a previous video and you know, you could be a winner and I was. So I got a $25 gift certificate email that gave me the code number that I could use on my purchase through Amazon. So I used it and what I bought were a couple of these trays. They're very heavy duty. They're um, small enough for my air fryer and that's what I wanted. And I fry bacon on these all the time. This is what I go to. And it has this, this grill, I guess you call it, that fits into this stainless steel pan. This pan is very substantial. I mean, it, it's not heavy, heavy, but I mean, it's got some weight to it. It's not cheap. And I can use that as a baking tin for anything in the air fryer or oven even for that matter. But when I do bacon or other things that I need a, a grill, a rack like this, you just put that in there and put it in the air fryer or even the regular oven. It's good for either or, but these two trays, I have two um, shelves in my toaster oven, toaster oven, in my air fryer oven, and so they'll go like this when I'm frying bacon. I love them, and they will last for quite a while because like I said, they are very substantial. So that's what I got with a gift certificate, Nona Grace. I'm sorry that I did not thank you for that earlier, right away after it came in the email. Um, I have no excuses, okay? But I really do appreciate having one. And I really do like these baking tins, okay? So that took care of something that I needed to do right now before I forgot again. And oh, Ginger just caught my eye. She's in the kitchen over there, <laughs> probably just checking up on what, what's mom doing? Who's mom talking to, you know? <laughs> so anyway, um, what have I been doing lately? Just taking care of my garden, which is moving slow but sure. I noticed the other day I've got some itty bitty little um, tomatoes coming out. I hope that they ripen up, but it's been so miserably hot and humid here. I don't know how they're gonna do, but um, and I noticed a couple little baby cucumbers, I think they are. I, I think they're cucumbers. Anyway, we'll see what they are. <laughs> did I label it? I did label it. I should take a look at what that was. But outside of that, reddishes have suffered <laughs> quite a bit. The other day I, I did take a few uh, radishes out of the garden, but they were like itty bitty, you know, <laughs> real small radishes. I still, I cleaned them up and William made them and he said they were pretty good, so okay. But the most successful garden that I've had yet has been in the fall, winter, and the early spring time frame. Otherwise, it just gets miserable down here. Now, my brother has a garden though, and he has had some cucumbers from it lately, and he said he's got some other veggies coming up too, but he admitted also that this time of year is just really hard on the gardens down here. So it's just a matter of time, waiting it out and see how the garden does. You know, still tend to it, water it in, you know, fertilize as needed and see what happens, but may not get anything. My regular tomato plants, I don't have anything growing on them right now. Just the, the itty bitty <laughs> tomatoes. <laughs> so very like snacking tomatoes, okay? So, and my flowers are coming along, especially since I do have a lot of tropical flowers and they love this kind of weather, so they're growing nicely. I'll be taking a picture of that in the future and sharing that with you. Um, other things that I've been doing, I haven't really been doing any crocheting or knitting lately, but I do need to get to that because I still need to show you that those um, dish towels that I'm doing a, a crocheted topper to, yeah. 
I've made a couple of them already and they've turned out fine. So I'm gonna invest in a couple of better quality towels and sew on those, you know, crochet on those. Other than that, I do have that uh, Pioneer sampler that I've been working on. I haven't been working on it lately though. Um, I'm supposed to be doing a, a sample block a month for the next year. And I was doing it in a collaboration with Tina. Um, if I can get her channel name straight here, but it, it doesn't matter because the collab has been dropped. She has kind of stepped back out of YouTube filming. And so I will continue on. I'm just in no hurry. And it doesn't necessarily have to be per month. I don't know of anybody else doing the collab with me. There were some other ladies that were interested in it. Now, if they got started on it, I don't know. Um, so I have three months worth done. I have not done, okay, the last three months worth. <laughs> I didn't do April or May or now it's June. I still have time to get June done though. Um, but I will be working on them. I really intend to do them. I've got the material all picked out. As far as April, um, April goes. I do have April all cut out. I believe I cut out May, but anyway, I'm ready to go on April just any time here now, so I will be doing that and filming it as well. It's not a collaboration anymore. It's just me working on my Pioneer Sampler quilt, okay? So we'll see how that goes, but I'll, I'll be working on that until the end of the year. So... And that's about it. Hey, you know what? I noticed today I went out this morning and I had a little grocery shopping to do and I didn't have a lot to get, but there were some BOGOs listed and I love shopping BOGOs and sales like that. So I went with the idea I was going to stock up and I did. Um, I, I did not buy any meats, you know, in the, in the, um, Well, the only meat that I did buy was like sandwich meat and not much of that even. Um, other than that, it was BOGOs, some dairy, eggs, you know, little stuff like that. Nothing really too pricey. It added up to uh, just under $100. I, I didn't buy that much. Prices are really going, they're skyrocketing, you know. So I think I do see a trip to Sam's Wholesale Club in our future. We need to stock up on a few more things there. Um, I haven't really bought a lot of meat from Sam's, but you know what? At the rate it's going, I just might give it a try. Especially like hamburger, that kind of stuff. Give it a try. So I couldn't believe it, a hundred bucks and, and, and nothing flat and just a few bags. You know, now I also noticed while I was out in our area here, the gas was two ninety five a gallon. That price has increased. The last time, let's see, on the weekend when we were out and around, the price was like, eh, you know, around two seventy five. So in a matter of days, it has raised to two ninety five. I wouldn't doubt that if in a week or so, our gas isn't over three dollars for sure per gallon. Hate to see that happen. I don't know. Don't know what's going to happen in the future. It, it is a worry. It is a worry. And it's something that we should all be concerned about. Uh, does it come down to politics? It's a mixture of things. But politics? I just, well, I don't like talking politics, really. I really don't. Because Yes, I have my opinions, and a lot of people, um, you know, if they don't agree with you, then you are the one that's wrong, and I just rather not get into a, an argument with anybody, because I'm right. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just that I have my opinions, and other people have their opinion, you know? That's the way it goes. But anyway... That is about all that's going on around here right now. Nothing too exciting, just life in general, you know, 
life and retirement, hey, <laughs> that's the way it goes. Some days are busier than others. Today has been a pretty quiet day. And that's okay. That's all right. So anyway, I hope you're all having a good one out there. You take care, and I'll be talking to you again real soon. But for right now, it's going to be bye. Iced tea is really a refreshing drink. It really, really is.